All right, so you know the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. I figured a video would be worth at least 10,000, maybe 15. Let me just show you how to make a Bach flower combination remedy. It's really simple. So here's a one ounce dropper bottle. It's a handy size, I use it a lot. You can buy it at probably any pharmacy. I have pre-mixed a solution of water and drinkable alcohol. In my case, I think it's Everclear, cheapest high proof alcohol out there. I make a lot of these bottles for homeopathic remedies and Bach flower remedies, so I buy it in a big bottle. But whatever you've got at home, brandy, vodka, Everclear, those will all work. So this bottle was probably filled up to about here with uh, purified water and the rest of the way with uh, the Everclear vodka. And if you're just doing one bottle at a time, you'd go up to about here with the water and add a little bit, maybe a dropper full or two of the alcohol. That preserves it, it keeps bacteria from growing in it. If you put the dropper in your dog's mouth, you probably still wanna rinse it under hot water before plunging it back into that solution, okay? So here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll fill up my bottle with the water and alcohol to about an ounce. There we go. So pretty much near the shoulders of the bottle. And then I'm going to add a couple of drops of each of my chosen remedies. So here's Bach Walnut. Come on, there you go. Um, Bach is one brand of the Bach Flower Remedies, and I'll show you another one in a minute. I'm going to add two drops of walnut. This is a re resistance blend I'm making for me. I've got many plates and, and, and spinning in the air right now, and I want to be strong for it all. I'm going to put some larch in there, which is a great confidence builder. I've got challenges ahead, so I want to be fully confident. A couple of drops of that. I've got some elm, which is like a strong remedy for carrying on and doing good work. A couple drops of that. One, two. I've got some hornbeam, which is another one of those great tree remedies. There's several of them. We'll get to them each in the course. Great for strength, etc. One, two. And my last is Clematis. I want to really be focused. I've got a lot to present to you guys in an upcoming course. And like I say, I've got a lot of plates on sticks in the air and balls in the air, however you want to put it. So I need to really focus. The internet can't distract me right now. Too much work to do. So I'm going to put in a couple of drops of Clematis to stay really good and focused. So there's two drops of each of those remedies in there. That was another brand, by the way. That was... Uh, Made by Elon, but uh, same same basic premise. We're going to put that in there. I'm going to label it. You can label it yourself so you know what's in it. We're going to succuss it about 10 wax every time we take a dose. And if it's you taking it, just a little bit in the bottom of the dropper, like so. Right on the tongue is a good way to dose it. And if you're dosing it in the uh, in the uh, water of your pet, a couple of drops in the water dish every time you change the water, a couple of drops on every meal and every time you feed a new meal. The goal is to get them in about four times a day and it's real um, lax. We don't, we're not hard nosed about it. If you want to give a couple drops by mouth, count a couple meals a day, count a couple drinks a day, you're in the ballpark. It's not uh, rocket science. So that's Bach Flower Remedy Mixing. And um, stay tuned for more of the remedies one by one, lesson by lesson. Thanks.